guys, I'm Hybrid Frost Kid, and welcome back to this war of mine. Winter has come, and it has come rather harshly, and hopefully we can survive through this one. Hopefully we've got everything prepared for the winter, and yeah, we can just sit there and hope pretty much. I've got everything set, we just gotta keep our fingers crossed that the cards aren't gonna go against our favour. We have a lot of food, we have a lot of items. We still do not have the gems to get us over the border for Corel, but I'm still going to aim for it. Not that I'm going to give up on looking for those gems, but I just think the chance of us getting out early is getting a little bit slimmer and slimmer by the day, I would say. So today is going to be, we are finally going to make the workbench, the improved metal workshop, because we spent all last episode looking for one part and we finally found it. So. We are finally getting our hands on a saw blade, which is going to be a lot of fun. So, yes, upgrade that. Please, make the workbench. Hell yeah, you got this, Bruno. We won't need to cook today because we are on day 28. We cook every odd day. And hopefully someone comes by and says hello to us. Maybe, we don't know. But first things first, we're getting the workshop done. And I think we're probably going to go straight to probably the train station. Because that was one place that had an openable area. What have we got? Oh yes, we can make a handgun as well. Oh that's, oh yes, make that straight away. So we finally got a handgun, so I think I'm mainly gonna keep that for Roman to guard with, because when I shot that person in the previous run, the handgun did nothing. I don't know if it was because the person was like, um, geared up because they were a military person. I don't know. The The pistol was like throwing a rock, like a pebble into the water. It did no damage, so I'm just going to keep it for the person who knows how to use a gun, so I'll use it to defend my base. So along with that, let's make a saw blade as well. Perfect. And then there was also another thing I wanted to make. Hopefully I have enough parts for it because it's going to be interesting. We can make a hatchet. So what I was thinking this, when I read this the first time, it said you can use it to chop furniture. So I don't know if you can actually take it to an area that has dresses and stuff like that and chop that down. I'm not sure. So I'm going to use this to try it out. So let's make ourselves a hatchet. And yeah, let's see if that actually does some good because that would be really fun. I would like that. And now I think I'm pretty much done with crafting. There is nothing else to craft, which is actually kind of good. I do need to make, I do need to add fire. I need to add fuel. Quick, Bruno. Add fuel to the thing before we freeze to death. Give it a second, we're gonna make a hatchet first. Oh, Roman's awake. Good job, Roman. Okay, so let's make some burner fuel so we can heat up the house a little bit more. I might make two. Yeah, make two. And we probably need to go out and get wood, but hopefully in the train station there's plenty of stuff to hopefully chop down if we can actually do that. I have no idea. I'm just guessing at this point. And oh! Uh huh. Ooh. What is this? I can break stuff. Oh, hell yeah, Bruno Smash. <laughs> What's this do? Oh, hell yeah! I didn't know this was a thing. Oh, and then it makes a scavenging pile. Oh, that's cool. Oh wow. Oh wow, that is stupidly good. Why didn't I make one of these in my first run? Oh my... Uh... <laughs> well, I didn't know this was a thing. Oh my god, that is so much wood. And there's so much stuff I can break around here. Oh, I take a little bit of damage. Um, okay, so I might trade that away once its durability is low enough, so I'm not going to use that anymore. Should I? Oh no, I'll wait and see. But let's quickly check the radio, because it's getting pretty late into the run, and let's hope we can get some info about a ceasefire. Uh, here we go. More atrocities committed by the military this morning. A mortar shell exploded on a crowded Porrigan marketplace, killing and wounding many people. Oh no. I hope... Ooh. Temperatures are still very low in besieged Porrigan. Firewood is getting harder to come by and people are gathering anything they can to be burnt. So it's pretty much still winter. There's no chance of it turning out of winter just yet, so I think that's all we have so far. Well, it looks like no one's coming to the door today, so let's just quick skip to the end of the day and then let's see if our hatchet will work. 
So what did I want? I wanted our usual setup. And then I wanted to head to the train station. Yes. Uh, yep, with them. And then I want Arika to take the saw blade and the hatchet as well. So we'll go scavenging with that. And let's see what that upper area has to give us. Hopefully it's something good. I spent all my money to get this saw blade. And if it's going to be bad stuff, angry. <laughs> Can I break stuff around here or is it just pretty much stuff inside? In my shelter because I don't want to be like hacking away at everything and living a life of luxury if I actually can't break stuff around here. No, it doesn't like it. So it might just be in the shelter, I'm not sure. Haha, -ha! we are finally getting through here. Exciting. And then there was one extra thing hiding in the other area as well, I gotta remember. Hey, there we go. And our flimsy saw blade just bit the dust. Goodbye. Okay. Ooh. Okay, not bad. I could have used those parts earlier, thank you very much. Oh, we got a couple areas. So it looks like I can't use the hatchet in scavenging. Ooh, we're not complaining. Which is a bit of a pain, but I suppose. Uh, oh. Alcohol! And another gun! Ooh. Okay, now I've got to toss up between some things. Yeah. That can make me another whole moonshine. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave that stuff behind. I can't always come back for a second run, so. I think I'm going to be running away with just that. It's going to be a very quick scavenge, but off we go. Uh, let's just check. What if I get the hatchet out? So that doesn't count towards smashing anything? Having the hatchet out? Or is that purely for combat? Yeah, I think it's purely for combat. Okay, let's go back in scavenger mode so I don't accidentally bop someone on the head. Oh, no, I can! Oh, hell yeah. But the uh, problem is that will make a lot of noise. Hopefully they don't get disturbed by that. Ugh. Scary. Ooh, that's, ooh, that's so good. I'll leave it for now, and I'll come back. I'll just break all the stuff with the hatchet. And then I'll come back for, for a second run and get the wood I need. Hopefully they're not disturbed by this. They're not moving. Okay. Get up, get up, go, 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 go. Oh, they... Okay. Whew, they didn't see me. That freaked me out a slight bit. Okay. It might be handy to go back to the toy store. I might do that. And that's got wood in there, so there's no point to that. Oh, wait, no, 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 Hurricane's back. Okay, I think I had everything in my pockets anyway, so it's perfectly fine. And I have a ton of burner fuel, so I don't need to worry. But wow, that was a lot of stuff. <laughs> that was a lot of stuff. Oh, I've got so much stuff I can gra grab now. Day 29. <laughs> it just keeps getting better. Tonight was a really good haul, and we discovered something amazing. That I am way... No, Bruno! Bruno, no! Go grab some pills. We are not having you dying again. Otherwise, I'll yeet you into next week, mister. Bruno oh, we got more food. Hell yeah! There we go, so that's cooked up for everyone else. Let's grab this extra food. And then probably let's go around and hack down every other area that doesn't necessarily need items. Like, doesn't. that's not a chair or something we actually use. So this is gonna be good. Oh, someone's at the door. Hello! Hi, Karel. Wait, let me put a fertilizer in here first. Oh no! Um, might as well. It'll give us a bonus one. Karel, unless you lower your prices, I'm not going to have the right amount of money. Your prices, prices are obscene. Okay, friend? And looks like we finally used all of our neighbor's vegetables as well. Uh, we're doing good though. We're doing surprisingly well. It's serious business. Um, has the plan changed? Oh no, it's all the same. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm still not any rich richer. Sorry, Karel. I would. Change your prices. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, let's go start breaking stuff. And we just made a lot of stuff. How much wood do we have? We have 51 wood! And 23 burner fuels! Oh my god, that's a lot of stuff. Um, and our hatchet is nearly dead, so I'm going to trade that away with someone. That might be handy. 
And there's nothing else we can break. Oh, yes, I can get Araka to eat. Araka, go eat some food. There we go. And, yeah, I think that's pretty much all we have to do for today. Everyone's pretty well fed, doing all their usual stuff. We're all done for today, so let's quickly end the day and go about scavenging once more. I don't actually know where I want to go. Hmm. I might go back to the railway station. Oh, get you to scavenge. Um, yeah, that might be the best plan of action. I can go to the hospital if someone gets sick. That's something I didn't do in the previous run. Is, um, Bruno kind of died? Like, two days before the war ended? And he had the opportunity to go get healed by a doctor and I forgot. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go with that. Um, I don't think I need anything. No, I don't. Oh, I forgot to fix the guitar. Oh, I'll do that next run. Never mind. Yeah, let's go back there, pick up all the stuff that we left, and then, yeah, just... And hopefully we never have to see those people again. Because, quite frankly, they scare me. Uh, grab all of that. Perfect. So we have so much ammo. We have a lot of ammo. We have the gun to use it. Oh, if I lose this run, I'm going to be so disappointed in myself. <laughs> This is the best run so far that I've had. Granted, I've had two runs, but... I've had pretty much everything handed to me, so if I lose now... Wow. Oh, no, I don't have enough! No! Um, let's get... We don't... We honestly don't need coffee. We have no one with a coffee addiction. And I think I still have coffee at home as well. So we only need to come back here if we want a bit of wood and a bit of coffee. And I don't think we necessarily want to come back for either of them. So, I just forgot what was in this area, so let's... So it's a singular bit of wood. So a singular bit of wood and a singular bit of coffee. Nah, not gonna risk it. Can't be bothered. I'm actually curious what those people have in their area. Probably some food, or a gun. Don't wanna risk it though. Day 30! We're doing good. Everyone still up? Hell yeah. We had plenty of fine stuff. It was a very good night. And we've been raided. Oh no. Um, oh, the ammunition we used to chase them off. Two bits of ammo. Okay, fair enough. Bruno, please. I swear to God, if you die again, you're going in the river. <laughs> okay, so he's hungry and slightly sick. He's fine. Um, we have components, we have wood. Oh yeah, let's make the guitar. Go on, Bruno, make the guitar and make yourself happy. I wonder if Roman or Arika can play. Ah, there. Oh, yay, we got the guitar working. Oh, and someone's at the door. Oh, we bought something. Hello, friend, how you doing? Are these the guys I helped make their place better and they gave me alcohol? Are you going to fund my moonshine empire? I won't say no to acquiring moonshine. <laughs> I am currently rich in alcohol. Hello! How you doing? You come to give me more, more veggies as well. I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see you too, friend. How you doing? <gasps> yes! They gave me more moonshine! Yes! <laughs> We've come to see how you're doing. And we thank you for the help. It feels much safer to sleep in our own reinforced shelter, especially since several houses in the neighbourhood area were hit by artillery shells. We were saving this bottle for some special occasion, but we discussed it and decided to give it to you instead. They gave you one moonshine. You are fueling my moonshine empire, and I thank you for that. Okay, let's go. Thank you. I will. I will want to have a shit ton of stuff because of my moonshine. Appreciate ya. Oh, hell yeah. I have so much alcohol. I have more alcohol than food, nearly. Jesus. Uh, what else was I planning to make? Oh, the gun. It never hurt to have an extra gun, I guess. Let's make another gun. Enough sleep. There we go. Hello, Erica. Good morning, Roman. They're both awake. Uh, let's see if either of them can play. Can you play the guitar? Oh, she's playing the same song as Parv, so she can play the, the guitar. Looks like everyone in Porgoran only knows one song, though. Ah. <laughs> good job, Erica. You did a good job. Now, let's see if Roman's musical. We know that Bruno can't play the guitar to save his life, so... We'll just leave him away from it. It's for the kids. <laughs> How are you doing, Roman? How does it sound for you? Ooh. 
yeah. This is a nice tune. I like this. Okay, so I'll leave him to play the guitar and have a good time. Um, what, what can we do? I don't think there's anything we can do. Do we have, we lack cigarettes. Oh no, we've got to make cigarettes. Ah, quick. I might bring some herbal meds with me to the hospital and see if I can do any trading. They might trade something good for medicine. Okay, yeah, I don't think anyone's coming and Bruno has nearly finished making all the cigarettes. Just a little bit more and then he's going to be done. Come on, Bruno. There we go. So let's end the day and go on another scavenge. Possibly to the hospital. Yeah, let's go to the hospital. We'll do the usual run. And we'll get her to take a herbal med or two. It, it doesn't hurt to have two. They stack in the same thing. So let's scavenge with that. And maybe the doctors might want some herbal meds and they'll give us some good stuff for them. We'll wait and see. If this is even like the same area. It looks like it is. So I got to this area in my first run. And it was pretty, it was pretty bad. I didn't get much. Hello guys, how you doing? Don't worry, I won't. I'm here to trade away some, some medicine. I think the guy up here is the doctor. Yeah, this guy. Hello, friend. How you doing? Yeah, I'm here to donate medical supplies. Ooh. Yeah, this is what I wanted. So can I... How much can I get for this? I'll go with that. Nothing's free in war, mister. So, yeah, I'm gonna just take that and leave. Yeah, I'll take that deal. Sure. I am not stealing from this lovely hospital man. He wants to help people. Don't be mean to him. Hello. Yeah, I think this is the person we talk to that heals us. Oh, okay. I actually got to have a sick person here to trade with her. So if Bruno gets any worse, I can bring him over to this lady. So hopefully he will be fine and hopefully I don't have to do this. But it's if a worst case scenario. So let's just sneak around a little bit more. See if there's anything useful I can grab. Like this, but it's probably gonna have nothing in it. Nah, there's nothing. Yeah, this place is massive, but it's got absolutely nothing in it, so I'm not gonna bother. So yeah, let's just head home. I, I did just want the components, that's all I wanted. And I did find out what that guy was trading, so. Not bad, not bad. We can, we'll take that as a win, and we'll leave. We just needed a couple bits of components. Nothing severe. And plus, I think the next day anyway is gonna be a trader. A trader's gonna come by. Because Karel just came by. Hello. Goodbye. Have a good day. Thank you. There we go. Arik is back. Day 31. Hello. How are we doing? It's just a cold. He'll be alright. Oh no. Who's dying? Bruno? Oh, Roman! No! Okay, you guys go to sleep. Roman, you take some medicine. You definitely take some medicine. Bruno's still slightly sick. Boys! Come on, you're not supposed to be like this. And every it looks like everyone has a bio. Yeah. Except for Roman. Let's read everyone's bios. Um, I've already read Bruno's, so let's read Arika's. Oh, our supplies are low, but sharing with the hospital can make a bigger impact. Don't worry, we have plenty of herbal meds. Do not worry in the slightest. <laughs> oh god, we got more food again. Oh Jesus. Uh, do I wanna... I might actually stay inside today. Because with Roman and Bruno being sick, I don't want them pushing themselves too much. So yeah, I think I might actually just call it a night and not go out. I might do that. So yeah, let's... Let's end the day. And get... Arika to guard and Roman and Bruno to sleep. So let's stay. Oh, and I also got to work on the reinforced door. I got to wait for the trader to come though. Hopefully no one raided. The night was calm. Perfect. Life is good. Okay, well that was good. He's better. And now Roman's slightly sick. Good. Okay, Roman can just keep sleeping that off and Arika can, co can go to bed as well. And hopefully the trader comes by today. Hello, I need help. Okay, while I'm waiting for the trader to hopefully come by, let's see if anything's on the radio today. Hopefully we have something about a ceasefire. Still got a couple more days of winter. 
Oh, well, oh, that was something. Beware a band of looters roaming the city. It's best to lock your doors and stay inside. Okay, so it looks like the crime right wave might be happening soon. Which, oh, I'm not looking forward to. Um, but we have two guns. Ooh! As if war wasn't enough, crime is on the rise in the city of Porgorin. There are reports of armed assaults and robberies, so crime wave is happening. Ugh. We don't need food, you're fine, right, Bruno. Oh yes, there he is! Hello, friend! Quick, open the door before he gets there. Hi, I've been expecting you. How are you doing? Come on. Yes, let's trade! Woo! Huh? Are you not believing in my moonshine empire? Okay, that's gotten a little bit more expensive. Uh, let's finally trade away things I don't need, like the teddy bears and all that. So get rid of the moonshine. Teddy bears, coffee, um, this. Ah, oh, it says nothing special. Oh, bugger. Because it's low in durability. Oh, sad days. What can I buy? Can I get anything with this or not? That sounds good. So does that. Um, do I want to trade with him again? With, like, pure alcohol. Yeah, I might do that. So we'll take that as a deal. And then we'll trade again. Do you want some alcohol now? Yeah, we'll do that. Sounds like a good trade to me. I can make some more moonshine with that. Yeah. So let's make a deal. Thank you, friend. Appreciate the help. Well, what are you doing? I said goodbye. Good day. Good day. Okay, so hopefully with that we can finally make the reinforced door, hopefully. I was supposed to see if I could trade veggies with that guy, but he didn't have any veggies anyway, so... Doesn't matter. So no, we don't have any veggies. But reinforced door is going to be a thing. Make that, definitely. There we go. Wait, where is this going? What? Oh, it's going there. Okay. Disregard me, I'm being an idiot. <laughs> and now we don't have to worry about raids too much, and with a gun and Roman, we should be good on defending ourselves, so... We won't have a previous episode, uh, previous run kind of situation. <laughs> that was so bad last time. There we go, cigarettes are made and the moonshine is nearly done. And we are gonna go scavenging again, and this time back to the toy store. Hopefully... Hopefully it's got a good amount of wood. And we still have that wood that's chilling at the top of the area anyway, so... It'll be a good win nonetheless, so everything's done. Roman's still sleeping because he's still a bit sick. So let's end the day. Oh, I really kind of want to keep Roman in bed. Uh, but he's got a guard. You sleep and you scavenge. We'll go to the toy store. Uh, yeah, prepare. Take the axe with us. And go with that. So we're mainly just getting burner fuel. That's all we necessarily want. Do need components as well, but that doesn't matter. Okay, anything I can break. Anything I can break. Please don't say I came here for nothing. Because I'll be a sad spaghetti. Come on, last option. No! Why can't I break anything? That is ripped off. <laughs> Oh no. Well, we've got a single bit of wood out of this. Wow. Oh! I can break stuff now. Huh? Why can I suddenly break stuff now? That's weird. I'm not complaining though. Hello. Thank you. Give us some wood and some burner fuel. Thank you, game. Ooh! Gave us a fair amount. Thank you. Is it that the area has to be like 100% explored before I can start hatcheting stuff? Well, this was a pretty... I thought this was going to be a pathetic attempt, but it was actually not bad. So not bad at all. And we were able to take everything. Okay, let's check this back end. And not that I can carry anything, but let's check the outside. And if not, we're running home. Okay, there's nothing. So let's run away. Goodbye! And this is the last time I'll ever look at the toy store, because it has 100% fully been ripped to shreds, including that final bit of wood that we needed. <laughs> so off we go. Good day. Araka is back. Day 33. Oh, the winter hasn't ended anytime soon. Everyone doing fine? Henry's still there? The boys are still up? Hell yeah. We got a lot of wood! Woo! Hell yeah. Is Roman getting better? He's still slightly sick. We'll let him sleep again. And Araka can go sleep as well. Uh, what do you have to say, Roman? Oh, day 33, my story. One night I changed into my old garb and I just walked away. 
My mate was on duty. I told him I'm off to get some ass, but I'd be back by dawn. I hope he didn't catch too much shit for letting me through. Oh. Kind of mean that he did it to a mate, but he had to get out of there. You had to get out of the sticky situation. Okay, so it's going to be another chill day of waiting around. Kara will probably come down and yell at us again for not having the right amount of stuff. But, meh. Hopefully winter's going to be over soon, so we should do some cooking, then check the radio. And see how everything's going to go. And while the other two are sleeping, let's check the radio. See what's going on. Nope. Nothing on the radio. We have no heads up if the winter's over soon, if the ceasefire is happening. We don't know. We're still in suspense, so we're going to have to deal with it for now, I suppose. So, yeah, I think... Ooh, hello. How you doing? What's up, friend? Oh, it's Karel. I'm sorry, Karel. I don't have the things you need. Your prices are absurd. I know it's serious business, but... I don't have the money. Good day. Uh, I'm sorry, Karel. Okay. Well, enough of getting attacked by Karel. <laughs> We're gonna get Roman up so he can eat, and then Arika's gonna eat as well. And then with Karel coming by, I don't think anyone else is gonna come over, so I think I'm gonna end the day here. And then, yeah. I think I might stay inside because I really want Roman to get better. So I'll let Roman sleep and Arika can guard. So let's end the day. And let's keep everyone inside today. So you can sleep in the bed. I'll have these two guard. Purely so Roman doesn't get hurt while he sleeps. So yeah. Everyone stay inside. Yes, the cold days have gone. Yes. Woo. That means Henry. Oh, oh Bruno. <laughs> Henry, no! Oh, my boy! Oh, sad days! Is Roman feeling better though? No, he's not. Roman, why? And then Bruno's getting a bit sick. Ah, uh, I'll find a way. I might either have to send both of them to the hospital or I might get them to take a couple herbal meds. But with the cold days over and us looking pretty well into day 34, Still no sign of a ceasefire, which I hope it doesn't go any longer than like day 50 because I don't think I can survive that long. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here. So if you guys like the video, give the video a thumbs up and maybe subscribe if you want to stick around. All good, I'll see you guys next time. See ya!